It has long been debated whether or not vegetarians and vegans in particular are at a greater risk for iron deficiency or iron deficiency anemia compared to omnivores. This is because the type of iron consumed in fully plant-based diets, non-heme iron, is poorly absorbed in the body when compared to heme iron from animal sources. It has been estimated that 2% to 20% of non-heme iron gets absorbed, while for heme iron, the absorption rate, also called the bioavailability, is around 15 to 35%. Now, those ranges overlap pretty significantly, but you can see that it's easier for our bodies to absorb the type of iron that we get from animal sources. But does this really matter? Let's see what the data says. According to a recent review published in 2016, it appears that yes, vegetarians do have a higher prevalence of iron deficiency and iron deficiency anemia when compared to omnivores. In this review, the researchers looked at 13 studies conducted across many countries, including Australia, the United States, and China. In these studies, they measured iron status based on ferritin concentrations and hemoglobin. I will only be focusing on the serum ferritin measure for the purposes of this video. Now in these studies, the most typical threshold for ferritin was less than 12 micrograms per liter being the defining factor for does someone have a deficiency or not. Across studies, the prevalence of iron deficiency was almost always higher in vegetarians when compared to non-vegetarians. Researchers also found that vegetarian females had lower serum ferritin values on average than their male counterparts, especially among those who did not take any supplements. For vegans, the outcomes were even more concerning. In a study of 39 lacto-ovo vegetarian, 10 vegan, and 25 omnivorous Australian men, it was found that when iron deficiency was defined as less than 25 nanograms per milliliter, the prevalence for vegans, vegetarians, and non-vegetarians was 30%, 20.5%, and 0% respectively. When the cutoff was lowered to 12 nanograms per milliliter, it was found that 25% of vegans were iron deficient, 3% of vegetarians were also iron deficient, and 0% of the non-vegetarians were iron deficient. In another study conducted in the United States, assessing outcomes for 15 vegan and 10 omnivorous women, the differences were less pronounced. 27% of the vegans and 20% of the non-vegetarian women were found to have some sort of iron deficiency. Of note, these studies did not all use the same definition for vegetarianism, and this makes the data a little bit muddy. For instance, in one study, a vegetarian was defined as someone who consumed red meat no more than once a month and chicken or fish no more than once a week. A similar definition was used in another study where they defined a vegetarian as someone who never consumed red meat but consumed chicken or fish no more than once a week. However, some studies were stricter where they only included people, for example, in the lacto-ovo vegetarian category who consumed eggs and or dairy products, but no sorts of animal flesh. So we don't really know what the possible impact of stricter definitions for vegetarianism could have been on the outcomes observed. It's possible that some people who were classified as vegetarians in some of these research studies included in the review paper actually were meat eaters and therefore were benefiting from the even occasional intake of heme iron through animal products in their diet. So why is it that vegetarians seem to be more commonly afflicted by iron deficiency? 
but there are several factors to take into consideration. One factor is that of the non-heme iron that is found in plant-based diets. This type of iron is susceptible to the effects of inhibitors like phytates, polyphenols, and oxalates. The irony of nature is that the best sources of iron in a vegetarian diet are also the richest sources of these substances that block iron absorption. So for example, grains are rich in phytates, green veggies can be rich in oxalates, and common drinks like coffee are actually rich in polyphenols, which are all substances that can bind to iron and keep it from being absorbed. It is no surprise that vegetarian women had a greater prevalence of iron deficiency when compared to vegetarian men, considering that many of these studies included women who were still at an age where they would be expected to be menstruating. So in essence, blood loss and insufficient intake combined would lead to a greater prevalence of iron deficiency. Because of this greater prevalence of iron deficiency among vegetarians, the Institute of Medicine or IOM currently recommends that vegetarians aim to get 1.8 times the iron that omnivores are recommended to get in a day. Okay, so now that you know that being vegetarian might make it more likely that you have an iron deficiency, what can you do? Well, if you are a vegetarian or you've been thinking about becoming a vegetarian, there are a few things that you can do to boost your iron intake. Step one is to start by getting a blood test. It's best to know what your current iron status is before you start making any changes, just to know what your baseline is. Step two would be to be intentional about reading labels and incorporating more iron-rich foods and iron-fortified foods into your diet. Step three would be to practice soaking, sprouting, and boiling your legumes. This helps to get rid of some of the anti-nutrients found in these foods. Step four would be to consume a source of vitamin C with your iron-rich foods. Generally, a serving of fruit or fruit juice will be just enough. Step five would be to have tea and coffee separate from your meals about one to two hours before or one to two hours after. This way, you can get the benefits of the polyphenols that they provide without blocking the absorption of iron from your vegetarian meal. All right, so that is it for today's video. If you learned anything new or think that someone you care about could benefit from this information, then definitely share the video, give it a like, and subscribe for more nutrition content. Take care.